you think is going to win between uh, Joshua and Furry? I, I, you know, I love f***ing George Josh, but I didn't think this Tyson, Tyson's going to, Tyson's too elusive. He's not going to hit him. Listen, we're keeping it honest, right? I like yeah, Joshua. Like I like Joshua a lot, right? He don't punch. Maybe he punch harder than, than, than um, what's the other guy? The black guy. Wow. Wilder. He doesn't punch faster than Wilder. If he doesn't punch faster than Wilder, he's not going to touch this guy. And that's just what I see. He punches hard, and he, but he doesn't punch fast. If, if, if Tyson Fury can get away from um, Wilder's fast punches, um, Joshua might be in trouble. Man, Mike Tyson don't watch no boxing. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to the type of stuff he's saying. It, it doesn't make much sense. He barely knows who Wilder is as well. Well, I don't. Nah, barely, you ain't not me. I'll he barely knows who Wilder is. You're my trainer. <laughs> he's talking about some fast punching and all of this stuff. Listen, you're just picking your namesake. That's what that is. He's picking his namesake. Simple as that. The thing is, not too many people saw the Wilder fight. Clearly, <laughs> the numbers tell you that. And I can bet anything, I'll bet you anything, Mike Tyson never saw that fight. He he he, he never saw um Wilding put the pause on, on Fury. So all they see is oh he beat Klitsch Cole, oh he came back from depression, he was five hundred pounds, he he schooled the the non boxer guy, he's the the heavy puncher guy, he beat him. Listen, that's what they saw. They don't. They, they haven't seen. They didn't see the Pierre fight. They didn't see him go the distance with Pierre They didn't see um, the Pikeish fight. They didn't see the John McDermott fight. They didn't see. They didn't see the Chisora fight. They, they, listen, we know this guy. We know his history. All of that um, invincibility. It's not. It's not true. It's a myth. This guy has ducked quite a few boxers in his past. David Price, Kubra Pulev. Come on. Come on. Oh, how can I forget Steve Cunningham? Was he, was he elusive in the ring back then? He, he had to bully the guy to, to get the victory. That, I actually loved that. was a great performance by Fury, in my opinion. I loved that Cun Cunningham performance. He just said, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put hands on this guy. And he went for it. I really, yeah, I really enjoyed that fight. Anyways, they didn't see that fight either. So all this invincibility myth. If all of these lesser boxers are actually catching this guy including wilder i'm not i'm not buying that um that um he wasn't fit enough that's why wilder was able to that that was due to his tactics that's why wilder was able to catch him his tactics is what um afforded wilder the opportunities in the first fight so spare me the the oh he wasn't fit that's why nah it was mainly down to his tactics so yeah if all of these lesser boxers are catching this guy all of that elusiveness mythical it's just the the what really earned this guy that um that crown what really capped it was that Klitschko performance but Klitschko didn't even punch he didn't throw punches Klitschko didn't try to punch this guy so nah anyways let's move on from that man Mike Tyson don't watch no boxing man yeah um this weekend Fabio Wardley a prospect I'm really high on Fabio Wardley knocks out Eric Molina this weekend um, on the Dylan White Povetkin, no, no, the Povetkin Dylan White on the card. Fabio Woodley, 10 and 0, 9 KOs, relatively inexperienced, but he's looking really good. Pauls, but yeah, I um, mean, his last fight he, that, that was supposed to be a test against Richard Larty, he just iced him. What was that in the first round? <laughs> People are still speculating if Larty came to take a dive, but I, I doubt it. What was suspicious about that performance was the exaggerated ring walk from Larty. Larty took like three minutes. He, I think, he performed the whole track before he got in that ring. He was, he was, he was milking that that ring walk, and yeah, he went in and got iced in the first round. And yeah, Wardley looked good. Oh, he's a Dylan White um managed fighter. Dylan White's been putting him out. He's got what? He's got Babbage. He's got um Chris Congo. He's got now Wardley. Yeah, Dylan White is a decent. He's got a decent eye for talent, man. So this is supposed to be a f some some sort of fake step up for Wardley against Molina. Molina, who is past it. Remember in his last fight against Hergovic, he just kept on. I, he he basically quit in that fight he kept on turning his back if i remember correctly i think at one point he tried to dive and the referee didn't let him he, he, i need to see that fight and that was quite a bizarre fight 
he kept crying about rabbit punches which i didn't uh, nah you're here to fight fight yeah I, and it's talking about he has to, i saw an, an interview he did um in the lead up to this fight talking about he wants it rough you don't want I nothing rough we saw rough, you man. against um Hergerich. He, he's gonna get knocked out within three rounds in this fight that's my prediction it's a preview and a recap I, I might as well just tell you guys what happened in a fight <laughs> but nah nah i'm gonna keep that to myself just just wait i don't want to do no spoilers just wait till saturday and see how what you knocked out molina it's crazy it's fight weekend so i'm probably gonna do some dylan white related content yeah in the coming days and yeah i'm, I'm gonna leave this one here Mike Tyson, watch your mouth, man, and watch some more boxing. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. Yeah, so, yeah, um, as usual, leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, subscribe if you're new. Notification bell, click that. So you know exactly what's going on up here. I'm out.